Hello there and welcome back to another Sims 3 build video. My name is Billy and if you've been here before, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you enjoy these types of videos, please feel free to stick around, click subscribe, like the video, all of that fun stuff. Uh, so, I hope those that are interested in the gameplay side are enjoying the weekly gameplay videos, my Sims 3 Supernatural Let's Play. If not, if that's not your thing, that's all good. I'm still doing my build videos fortnightly, as I've mentioned. Uh, so, this week we have what I've called the Relaxation Retreat, which uh, it has occurred to me that I think that's also the exact name of one of the, I think, Sunlit Tide slots or something like that. Um, I swear I've seen it in the game before. But this has nothing to do with that. Um, it's a 30 by 40 lot. It is three bedroom, two bathrooms. It's a nice family home. And it is, of course, as a lot of my builds are inspired by just a random real estate listing I saw myself and thought would be cool to build. Something a bit different about this one is how much there is exterior to the home. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of building a little garden area off to the back and there's also like a spa pool, there ends up being a playground, it's like the house itself is actually pretty simple but it has all these extra amenities which is why I kind of went with the characterization that I did, you know, it's a family home full of opportunities for fun and relaxation. If you want to soak in the spa, your kids want to play. It's all good and it's perfect for some who enjoys gardening. The other notable thing is that I did actually include one item that is from a mod just for fun because I didn't know what to do with the room. I'll mention it when we get to it but it's the flower arranging station which I thought was kind of perfect for the garden and because there's a lot of space in that little greenhouse. Um, and the greenhouse is of course the one piece of custom content or the one piece of store content that you're gonna need uh, to download this lot just like the roof piece from the greenhouse and also uh, the windows as well but yeah and of course as always all expansion packs stuff packs store content and custom content is always linked down below if I run out of space, it'll also be in the linked Tumblr post. Uh, but yeah, this this is also going to be an interesting set of recordings. Number one, I like built a mega playlist of songs on Spotify. Um, I tend to use Spotify by like listening to an artist on shuffle, um, and kind of it like if they're all their songs are similar enough. I will just listen to them on shuffle and if the songs aren't similar I won't listen to them at all really on Spotify um because I also don't pay for premium of course why would I <laughs> and uh but I built a mega playlist just for fun because I considered I might try streaming when it gets to Christmas break and I've got time off work I will see if I actually do that but just thought it would be fun and I've actually got it playing in the background right now I don't normally listen to anything when I'm recording these, but I thought I would this time. Let's see if I get distracted. Um, something also you might have noticed in this recording, uh, the video. There was a big cut where suddenly a lot more of that greenhouse was done than was done before. I'm so sorry. I did forget to record a solid, I think, 20 minutes. Um, yeah, I got into the game. I was like, yeah, this is great. I'm going to build. And then I... Realised 20 minutes in, I was like, wait, I'm not recording, am I? Whoops. Um, but nothing much was missed, just messing around with the greenhouse. You will see plenty more of it later. I will say I really love this bedroom here. It is like a lot of the wallpaper design there is inspired by the actual wallpaper and like the colour scheme in that bedroom. In the actual real estate listing, I thought it was super cute. I love it. Um, but yeah, I just, this is a really interesting build for me. I also tried to like spice it up with the exterior a little bit, which you'll see. I did, I tried to not just only go for siding and I also darkened the corners on the siding, which 
normally I go for like white. Um, yeah, I end up trying to put some stone on the ends. I don't know if that was what it was actually like in the listing, but I thought there were opportunities there. Because I do always find it interesting when people do kind of change up the textures and designs and patterns on the house. Um, in certain blocks, but I struggle to figure out where to do that usually, but kind of worked well here, I think. <laughs> but then I ended up undoing it on the front because I didn't like it as much. But yeah. And the greenhouse was interesting. I don't normally build things like that. I mean, sometimes I'll build a dedicated greenhouse, but I won't try and like build in like a shed compartment to it. So it was a challenging one for me in a way. And yeah, so the other part of this session of recording that's going to be interesting is that I'm doing three commentaries back to back. Uh, I kind of smashed out three build videos and didn't edit any of them because I was like, I want to get ahead because I'd been having like a period of time where I was like not really super motivated to do a whole lot. And so I was worried about falling behind. So once I did have motivation, I was like, cool, I'm just going to record back to back, smash through it, and then I'll go back, do all the custom content lists, all of the editing, the descriptions, everything, all at once. Um, so I might run out of things to say on these. <laughs> I might get progressively more off topic, but we'll see how it goes. The other cool thing of this build is this really bright bathroom. Again, completely inspired by the actual bathroom in the listing. I wouldn't normally do something so bold, um, but it's pretty. I don't know, I like it. I just like teal and turquoise kind of stuff, uh, but I think I think the really bright bathroom's kind of cute. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, still kind of continuing to build up the bedroom. I also did like having the kind of paneling in here. Especially the interesting thing is the dining room. Um, yeah, I don't use a whole ton of paneling, I don't think. So, or at least not everywhere in the house. So this was also very interesting for me. But I like it. It is very much so an upper middle class, like, family home, I would say. But yeah. I also really hope no one can hear me drinking, but I might have to do it during commentaries. Um, yeah, I had a bit of a nightmare tonight trying to get food ordered because I didn't feel like having whatever foods in my freezer tonight. Um, yeah, that was a disaster. But okay, this recording is going good. Um, yeah, and that also kind of delayed because I only just finished my third build right before recording this, so... It's interesting. It'll at least be kind of fresh on my mind, except for the fact that I'm recording commentary for two other builds before that. Also, you're going to see this kitchen a whole heck of a lot. I believe it's called the April Kitchen by Art Vitalix. Um, yeah, I noticed I started using it a ton. And I think in the build after this, I was like, no, I'm using it too much. I'm not going to use it. And then I went right back to using it in the build after it. Um, I tried though. I tried. But at least the one cool thing about it is that when I use so many pieces out of that set, I'll just link the whole set. I won't like necessarily have to note down like I use this and that piece because if I use like nine out of ten of the items, just get the whole set. Um, because probability says I'm going to use bits and pieces from it later and so you know, as well. Um, the other interesting thing for me was that seating arrangement, having those seats kind of in the corners and actually having stuff like behind them, it kind of filled in the space really nicely. I didn't necessarily check the usability of those bookshelves, but you can move the chair if you need to. But yeah, and I've really been loving doing these larger bathrooms with the toilet off to the side in a separate room. That's actually a fairly common setup I would say. Um, I mean even in my house 
the toilet is actually completely separate, not even just attached. Um, but yeah. And here I'm doing the kids' room. I did... I have also realized through these recordings, I make kids' rooms so boring, but I try my best. And they all are all very similar. But not entirely the same, I promise, I swear. But yeah, I think something I struggle with is uh, kids' decor. Um, I, I did do a build recently where I did some really, really stunning, like, a really stunning nursery room, I think it was. Um, I think it must have been the last one, the townhouse one. Not the studio, but where I built an actual full family home into a townhouse. And nursery is absolutely my favourite. Hands down. I don't think I'm ever going to top it. Because, I don't know, when I get into kids' rooms, I'm like kind of designing them somewhat generic especially because I don't know what your sims are going to be into the ones that you put in there so yeah I kind of leave them mostly generic but make them pretty so maybe so maybe they're pretty barren but you can add in toys where you see fit um oh, I also loved what I ended up doing here with this outdoor table there are a lot of outdoor tables that are kind of in this very like heavy design and are like stone and I wanted to really execute that and also add in some like outdoor chairs. I did have some trouble figuring out what outdoor chairs I wanted to use because I was inspired by an actual real life table and chairs I had but I think the ones I picked looked really good even if they didn't match what I had initially thought of. And yeah, and I also like this little dining room. It's so bright. I did consider putting some doors like at the end of it though, but I held off because there are literally doors leading outside or right next to it. So I thought maybe that would be too much. But if you are more into the idea of having like doors that open out right there as well, because I think it would kind of suit it, please feel free to go and change it. Um, and yeah, just doing the entryway. I've also been really dedicated with entryways in my recent builds, uh, is what I'm noticing. It is funny doing so many ones back to back and knowing what's coming up because I just edited the other ones in preparation to do commentary. So well and truly, I am fully aware of how I've been doing these over and over and how similar in some ways they are. Like I've been using I think the same flooring in all three of them, those wood floors, their custom content, but I just think I thought screw it because normally I was avoiding using custom flooring because it's a little bit of a pain to like tell you which specific one it is and I've kind of accepted I'm not going to be able to distinguish which one specifically out of like the colour options so you may as well download the whole set. Um, not like that's a big deal. But I just, because I was using them so much, I was like, screw it, I've got the link there ready. So I can just add it in real easily. Also, I will say, I need to use that sink more. It is also from the April kitchen. I didn't use it in the kitchen, I just used it in that bathroom. Um... But because it's not like an actual like traditional sink um, and it's also not like a proper counter it was super easy to then go through and like place with move objects the items on top with like the decorator tool so much easier I should maybe just use it from now on because there's nothing for it to all stick to so you can just like it's so easy it's so nice and I did use some different um, custom content in the kitchen for this one as well. Uh, like, I think I normally default to the Ambitions knives and things like that. I don't normally include those pots and pans, but I thought I would spice it up. And also, you probably noticed that one counter with a weird texture on it, I promise you, I swear, I did in fact go into game before I exported this lot and I reset the texture on it. For some reason I thought you could reset the texture 
when you were in build mode, uh, but seemingly not. You do have to go fully in game. So when I went through to take screenshots, I did not export it um, by that point, and I just fixed the texture before exporting. So hopefully that should be fine. If not, you should be able to reset the texture on it. There are very, there are a lot of guides. It happens <laughs> sometimes, um, but no, it should be fine. I also end up using these paintings a whole lot. I don't know if I use it in the other builds so much, but this one, I love those paintings. I think they're like the French country paintings. I will sure as heck find out when I go through to link those, but yeah, I used a bunch from the same kind of big set of paintings and I love them because I don't think there's enough like country style paintings in the game unless you're diving into like supernatural ones and i don't want to use supernatural ones because they change at night and that's very odd for my suburban homes um so yeah but i do like them i like having a ton of variety in paintings even though i use the same ones a lot um especially in these builds but that's just because it's easier exporting and you can replace them with whatever you feel your sim is into and enjoys so hopefully not too much of an issue and now the beautiful task of recoloring everything i will say that that mirror trips me up too much <laughs> it's i think the glen mirror also art violex you will notice there's a heck of a lot from that creator in my builds in fact, you'll notice there's like a few distant creators that most of their stuff is in my builds. Um, but yeah, that that mirror specifically trips me up because you have to actually go to the last watch. And I think there's a similar issue. Not an issue, it's like fine. It's a me issue because I take too long to realize that the initial swatches are not recolorable. And like it's that one of those chairs in the lounge as well took me far too long to realize the first swatches are not recolorable and they're set in stone it is the last one you have to change it to and then you can make your changes i also will say in this little room that desk is really cute i have used it in another build um and yeah, it's just pretty, and I liked the notebook set up on it. It looked so pretty. Also, I started using those red diffusers everywhere. Um, and I think it's all specifically the same one. Um, as well as the anemone candle. You're going to notice that an uptick of that one in the descriptions of all my builds. Which is great for you if you like downloading all of these, because you only have to get it once. And everything else is going to also have it. Congratulations. Um, yeah, same as those like bathroom towels as well. Every single build. Same towels. I actually have like, there's bathroom towels one and two. All my builds have the exact same ones. Also now we can see I'm reattending my terrain painting at the greenhouse after giving up on it earlier. I don't know, I was trying to figure out how to do the pathing, I wasn't sure if there was any grass that should be showing through. And then I went and reviewed the actual listing, and I was like, yeah, that makes sense that it's all gravel, actually. Um, and I think it looks better, being all gravel. Here I am, preparing to paint in all of the dirt. The one thing I will say is that, um... Yeah, the one thing I'll mention is that I didn't really put very good plants in those uh, fake hunter boxes I put down. Obviously, when you get into game and you play with this, please do delete those little dandelions I end up putting in there and put some actual plants, like gardener gardening plants, in there, please. Um, I can't do that in build mode, so I'm sorry, and I'm not going to go through the time of, like, planting them in-game, exporting- no, not doing that. You place in whatever you want, um, but the placeholders I put in are, in fact, 
dandelions and I'm so sorry. I think the greatest irony is that I did actually have like strawberry plants but I didn't want to link them so I just didn't use them and I spent so long trying to figure out plants that would actually look good in there and that could plausibly be I don't know something someone would plant and I put dandelions because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I will say these little lines of plants at the side turned out super cute. Yeah, watch my struggle as I try and find something that might look like actual produce growing there and then give up. Just watch. But yeah, I did, I tried. <laughs> it's fine, it's a placeholder. Um, but yeah, at the front of this house it's pretty boring. It's really everything out the back that's most interesting. Placing down a few rocks. I have enjoyed placing down a few rocks here and there for some reason. I don't know what got into my head, but I just, I thought everything needed it. And here I'm giving you even more plant boxes. They are, I think, all custom content. Yeah, I believe so. I used only custom plant boxes, but they were cute. And I finally figured out what flooring I was going to do inside the greenhouse. But yeah, I do like the look of the longer ones. And then here I'm just building out the little shed. I wasn't sure if I wanted it to be like an enclosed growing room. Um, tried very carefully not to say grow room there for reasons no one needs to know about. No, I'm not insinuating I have one, but I'm just... If you know what the term is <laughs> typically referring to, then yeah. <laughs> Um, added in a tiny little uh, watering can there. But yeah, I was considering like covering the walls and more plants, but here's the flower arranging station. If you don't want that mod, don't bother downloading it. You can just swap that out with something else. I just thought it was cute and would make sense in this little shed. You can turn this room into whatever you want. I do not mind. And yeah. As usual, if you do download this and make some changes, feel free to post it and tag me on Tumblr or something like that. I love to see what people are able to do with my builds because everyone has their own preferences and their own style of gameplay, their own ways to decorate, so some people might just want this mainly as a shell. Um, and then kind of customize it as they feel like, because I know I definitely download lots and well not so much anymore because I build so many myself but I did always used to download lots and then completely redo them to suit whatever sim is living in them at the time although sometimes I will admit I get very lazy and then just accept what it is for a very long time anytime I have to have them move but I will try not to do that now because I can record my redecoration and upload it perfect and I will say I had a lot of trouble with the couch here. Not even just recolouring it, but picking what couch, because I kind of wanted a striped couch, but it just wasn't working. And I couldn't figure out what way to make it work. But it's fine, I figured it out, and then I placed some lovely little cushions on it. But we are kind of reaching the end of the recording here. Uh, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to stick around for more build videos of fortnightly, let's play videos for Supernatural are uh, weekly. Enjoy the screenshots. Thanks for watching. Bye!